Hello everyone and welcome for this new tutorial. Today we will see how to retarget an animation. We will take an animation from Mixamo and we will transfer this animation to another character that I'm currently working on. It should be a very simple video, but it's very useful when you do a game jam. And I'm currently in a game jam, so I just did it. So I will show you how I did on my character for the game jam and I will show you a little bit what I'm working on for the game jam. I'm actually doing the Secret Center game jam. I will show you a little piece of the game I'm making and the full video about that game. It will be for Christmas on 25. So let's jump into Unreal and I will show you how it works. So I hope you like the new setup. You can see now the camera is normally perfect. Let's jump into the tutorial. So you can see that I'm on the website Mixamo. It's where we'll get all of our animation. First, we will go into the characters and we will take the Y bot. We'll take the Y bot, the guy, because my character is a guy. You can use the X bot if you want to use a female character, but it's the same. The animation works the same on both. So we'll go ahead and download this character. We'll choose the format FBX and we want the typos. So we'll download. And for example, we will take a dancing animation. Now I can go into animation. We can see that there is a lot of animation and we will be able to use all of them with the character that we choose. There is some pack if you want to use the pack. We are just gonna get maybe... We'll go ahead and use this animation. So we can now click on download. Uh, in this, we just need to change this to go without skin because we already download the, um, the character. So we download this animation and I will go in Unreal. Oh, you can see this is not the, um, the game with the bunny. It's different game. It's the game that I'm working on on the game jam. I will show you after just a little bit of the, of the game, but not much. I just want to show you how to do the retargeting. So my character will be this little fox. You can see that I have a fox skeleton. Why am I so far away? Okay. You can see that I have this little character with his bones that I have created. So I made this character with Blender and I use the editing tool to create his skeleton and bind the skin. You can see that I have something that is currently working pretty good. So it was pretty fast. I did that in maybe an hour or two. So I have a character fully functional and now I want to add some animation to him. So how to do that? First, we will create an IK rig. I go into animation, retargeting in IK rig. We choose this one. We call this IK rig underscore. I put Fox, Fox tutorial. And we'll open this. Now in here, we will choose on the top right, the skeleton mesh, it will be our fox. You can see that now we have our fox. And now we will use this IK retargeting to actually create some chain of bone. And we will say, for example, from my clavicle to the to my end, it's the right arm. Same for the left arm. And we will go on like that. We'll create all the different chain of bone. And then we will do the same on the Mixamo character. We'll be able to use the animation from Mixamo to our Fox character. You can see that here I have, we have my hierarchy of bone. And we will start, for example, with the head. The head will be from the neck to the head 01. I think we can show the bones. We can go in character, in bones, and we'll show all hierarchy. So it will be easier to see what's going on. So we'll go into neck to head 01. We'll choose them on the left, then we right click and we create a new retarget chain. You can see that the chain name is already good, so we'll leave it like that. So we'll add a chain. And now on the right, we can see that we have the chain name head. It will start from the neck and goes to the head 01. We'll do the same with the arm. It will be from the clavicle to the end. We go new retarget chain. It's no already that it's left arm, so we add the chain. The same for the right arm. New retarget chain, a chain. Now we have the legs. It should be from the thigh to the ball. Take it like that. New retarget chain, left leg. In already we add the chain. Same for the other leg. New retarget chain. And now we just miss the spine. For the spine, we will choose from spine 1 to spine 3. We we'll right click and do a new retarget chain. We'll add the chain. And we will say. Now I can import my 
Mixamo character. So create a new folder. I will call this Mixamo tutorial retargeting. We first get the character and then we will get the animation. So we take our white bot. We skeletal mesh in port mesh. It's perfect. We don't have animation, so we don't really care. So we'll import. As we can see, we have our white bot skeleton. Which is good. And I will now import my animation. And it will be on the white bot one skeleton. And I will put here to export that time. Yeah, and we'll import all. Here is our animation. Now we need to do the IK rig to this white bot. So I will right click and create a new retargeting IK rig. I will call this IK rig underscore. I will call this mixamo. IK rig mixamo. And I will use my Y bot one. Hop. And I will do the exact same thing. I will create the chain of bone for the retargeting. So for the head, it will be from neck to head top end. Right click, new retarget chain. Ignore that it's the head. We add the chain. Left shoulder to the left end. For the end, we create one chain per, per finger. We will not do it right now because our fox character doesn't have any finger. So we can just stop to the end. But if you have some finger and you want to retarget the finger as well, you need to create the chain for each finger. Us, we will just go until the end. So we'll create a new retarget chain, chain left arm. Add the chain and close this. Do the same for the right arm. New retarget chain, right arm. Plus this, same for the legs, new retarget chain, left legs. It's very simple because it's a humanoid character, so Unreal knows what we are trying to do. So when we create the retarget chain, he knows already that this is the right leg because there is white leg inside, so he knows. So it's pretty nice, it's very, very simple and it goes pretty fast. We add the chain and we'll do the same for the spine. We have spine to spine two and we we'll create the retarget chain for the spine. Okay. Now we are good. We just have one last thing to do. We need to choose the retarget route. We can see that for my Mixamo character, the route, the first bone is the hips. So we choose this to be our retarget route because we have no choice. Then if we go to our Fox, we didn't set the retarget route. On the Fox, I have a route and a pelvis. And as the Mixamo character doesn't have a root. We cannot use the root as the retarget root. We need to use the pelvis. There is just this thing that we need to be careful. If there is no root for the first skeleton, for the Mixamo skeleton, you need to find the bone that looks the same. Like this bone is the hips. And this hips actually look like my pelvis for my fox. So it's the same retarget root. We'll go ahead and choose set retarget root. We'll save everything. We can close them. Now in here, I will create, I will right click and go into animation, retargeting and choose the IK retargeter. Call this IK retargeter underscore mixamo. We'll open this and you see on the right corner that there is the source IK rig and the target IK rig. The source will be my IK rig mixamo, the one that we just created. And the target IK rig will be our IK rig Fox tutorial. Okay, to make it a little bit nicer, we can add an offset to my fox so that it doesn't that it doesn't stay on top of the other one. We will put an offset on the X. Okay. If I go into the chain mapping, we can see that the target and the source they are they are all connected, spine to spine, head to head, left arm to left arm, and everything. So that's perfect. And we can now try to see if our animation is good. And now if I click on the hip hop dancing, we can see that my fox is now doing the hip hop dancing. And it's perfect. So now my animation, every animation that I will choose, for example, I will choose another animation to show you that how fast it is. I will maybe twist dance. 
I'll go ahead and download this one without the skin. We download. Okay, it's downloaded. Now I go there, I import this with dancing on the Y bot one, import all. And now my twist dancing is there. And I can now use it with my fox. It took me literally two minutes. And now how to actually, uh, we need to ex export them for our fox. So I can click on both of them, export the selected animation. I will go into the mesh, into my fox. I have a folder animation. I will just put a underscore in the, as a prefix and I will export them. And now we can see that I have my animation, they are there and they're working. I can now, which will be weird in the game, but I will still do it just to show you. If I take my fox, my skeletal mesh fox, I pull it here. Like that. I can go on the right and choose use animation asset and I can use now the new animation that we have created. We'll have our fox doing the hip hop dancing and we'll have another one doing the twist dancing. If I start the game, we can see that our animation is perfectly working. That's it. It's very, very easy to use Mixamo animation with any character that you create. If you followed my tutorial on how to create a skeleton for a mesh when you don't have a skeleton, everything will be working as I did the same for this game jam. I actually followed my own tutorial because I, I don't really remember all the steps. So to not make mistake, I followed my own tutorial and it was working. I made this character with the, all these bones. I can do the retargeting. I have a lot of animation that I can use for my game, especially in the game jam, because you don't have the time to create animation. It takes forever. You saw on the last tutorial how we created the um, animation with the control rig. That's not very good. So we can actually use some kind of good animation very fast to actually try that out. It's very good. Now I will show you a little bit my game. I will just remove these two box and I will show you what I'm working on. I'm actually working on a kind of 2D game, more like Mario Wonder, the new Mario that came out. It's the kind of the same style, but it's with a fox. And I will show you a little bit on what I created. We can see that we have our little fox. We have a dialogue system. For example, if I go there, I have a dialogue that own. You can see that there is some stuff going on in the background. That's for the, that's for the story of the, of the game, but it's not useful right now. I have the jump animation, I have the running animation, every animation there from Mixamo. I can do some double jump, I can actually push stuff. Everything is from Mixamo and it took me a few minutes to have all the animation working on my game. Then I just have to do the coding and they're there and they're working. Here is the little game that I have created. It's a very simple game. It's for the Secret Santa Game Jam. If you want, you can actually join the Secret Santa Game Jam. You will get a letter and then you can work on a game for someone. Me, it was a game about a fox. I will not show you more about this game because there will be a full video only on this game jam. That's it for today. It was a very simple tutorial, but very useful. It's one of the best things to use, especially for the game jam, or if you have a lot of different characters with different skeletons. If you want to use the same animation, you can retarget them between your character and you will be able to use all the same animation on different characters. It's a very powerful tool. I hope you understand everything. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. I will try to help you. And if you don't want to miss the video about the game with the fox, you can subscribe to the channel. You can ring the notification bell. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like. It will be very helpful. And I will see you for the next tutorial, maybe on the dialogue system. That's it for today. I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.